starting from the floor. Her feet are drawing toward each other. The back toes are angled forward about 45 degrees, maybe even a little less than that. Generally speaking, we want the ankle, the knee, and the hip to all be in one line. And you can even bring your hands to prayer if you're just so we can conserve our, our energy. The hip, knee, and ankle, hip, knee, and ankle are all in line, and the outer hip of that back leg is reaching forward. The inner arch of the back foot is lifting as, again, remember, those heels are drawing toward each other. So there's a lift up, up, up through the inner thigh, through, imagine, the pelvic floor, through the low belly, up through the center of the chest as that back heel hugs forward. So we don't completely roll onto the pinky toe side of the foot. We counter that lift of the inner arch with the hugging forward of the heel. The back heel is drawing back, and then the front leg eventually will be at a 90 degree angle. And there's a feeling of her sit bone of the front leg reaching toward the heel. There's a lift of the low belly as we do that. So it's like the front of the pelvis is lifting off of the front thigh as that front hip pulls back and the outer hip of the back leg reaches forward. And then go ahead, reach the arms up. Good. There's a feeling of the arms lifting from the sides of the waist. You can actually separate your hands. Good. All right, from this position, we're having the arms in what's called upward scapular rotation. So the outer edges of the shoulder blades are lifting upward as they wrap sideways, and the inner part of the shoulders are just soft enough so that she can move her neck with ease. All right, for most people, the arms will be a little bit forward of the body, and that's fine. You can straighten your front leg for just a little bit of relaxation. Then we're gonna add a little bit more lift to the chest for her and then counter that with those front ribs drawing to the back body and then reach up through the fingers. Yes, so reaching up through the fingers energizes the arms that much more. Oftentimes there'll be a, a pretty large kink in the elbow. So remind your students from time to time to use that reaching up, up to my fingers. Yes, up through the fingers to help get that crease out of the elbow and energize through the arms. Front ribs in, chest up. Good, belly's lifted. And then you can straighten the front leg for another moment. You can relax your arms as well. Now, regarding the placement of the feet on the mat, oftentimes this pose is taught heel to arch alignment. But for most yogis, having the feet a little wider apart helps with that squaring of the hips action. Go ahead, bend your front knee again. So in order to pull that outer hip forward, it's much easier when the feet are a little wider apart. Go ahead, reach the arms up. So once again, quick review. Back foot is forward 45 degrees. Outer hip draws forward. Low belly's lifting. Front ribs draw in. Center of the chest lifts. And then we reach the arms up from the sides of the waist to the fingertips. Good. And relax.